right, so let's get into the Cooler Master MM711 right here. It just sounds so weird when I say 711 because I think I'm going to get a slushy. And I saved it for you guys. It's not even open yet. As you can see right here, it is sealed up not even open let's pop it open together and see what we get this time out of the box here let me tell you what this thing is absolutely gorgeous with the uh, glossy here my previous uh, 710 I got the black matte but uh, this one here of course as you can see we went with the white gloss right here and it just looks so good again with the uh, gloss and then the glossy buttons on the side with the black the white and black again as far as looks this thing is absolutely gorgeous but of course we're not buying our mice for looks right well at least some of us aren't so first off let's talk about what's different or what's similar with the 711 compared to the 710 number one price the 710 comes in at 49.99 and then the 711 comes in at 59.99 and the second biggest thing is the weight with the 710 coming in at right at 53 grams the 711 coming in at right at 60 grams the next biggest difference is the RGB on the 711. I mean, this RGB is just so nice. Again, you have it up on a scroll reel right there and then back going through the honeycomb there and it comes through the bottom as well. Really, really nice. And of course, you can adjust all of this on the Cooler Master software. As far as the cable, you also get the same smooth weave that came on the 710 right there. And this thing is very nice, really nice cable here. Straight out the box, I had a couple crinkles and wrinkles in and everything, but again, just kind of smooth it out and it's very nice. This cable feels almost exactly like the Viper cable and then on both mice you also get the Pixar 3389 sensor but all right so as far as going through all that right there I mean this mouse sounds great right the price the weight the design the cable there's a lot of great things with this mouse right again the price is just fantastic does the 7-eleven hold up to the build Kind of, again, going back to that 710 right there. I mean, that thing was an absolute cranky, rattly, flexy piece of junk. We're gonna take a look at here now, is is the 711 built better than the 710? All right, so first thing I wanna do is take a look at the mouse clicks. That was the worst thing I think we noticed about the 710 right there. Whenever we clicked on the mouse, it bowed up on the top right there. They were really creaky and just cranky. I mean, they were bad. So anyways, let's go on and check out the mouse clicks on one and two on the 7-Eleven. Again, we remember on the 710, we had a whole lot of flex, just that creaking, and they really bowed out at the top. All right, these aren't moving at all. They are not moving no matter where I click them. Inside, outside, up top. They are not budging. All right, so mouse buttons one and two, I think they're improved. I think we got a win right here. Let's go on and jump in the scroll wheel because that was another really bad thing we had. The scroll wheel was just incredibly wobbly. I mean, it was so bad. So let's go on and check the mouse wheel right here and let's see what we got right here. So you just have your basic button movement right there. I actually can barely push it to the left, just that little bit that you can see right there. Nothing near as bad as a 710. As you see, when I push it down, it does go a little bit to the right, but nothing drastic. It's not moving around. It's just that basic click right there. When I press it down, it goes a little bit to the right, but it doesn't activate that button there. So I think the wheels improved as well. All right, so next up what we're gonna test, which was another one of the worst things about the 710, at least the copy I got. Then that was the sidewall flex with the activation of the button right here. Did they fix it on the 7-Eleven? All right, so again, my first time testing it with you guys here. Let's see with the sidewall flex.
All right, so unfortunately, even with the 7-Eleven, I still have sidewall flex. Now, it's just by the rear button. I do not get any flex by the front button here. It's just by the back one, and it's not incredibly hard to press it. I mean, I do have to press. It's not like I just set my finger on it and it presses, but it is there. I mean, it's clearly clearly there. Now, if you fingertip this mouse here, which I think a lot of people will do with the size of this mouse, you'll never activate it. All right, so now the last thing that I really didn't like about the 710, and obviously they couldn't have changed it. I don't wanna say they couldn't have changed it, but obviously they didn't change it with the 711. And that is the honeycomb design right here. Number one, it's kind of cool. You can take it either way. I really love how the design looks like the Cooler Master logo as far as that little cutout right there. But whenever I get my hand on it down here and get into my claw grip, for example, as you can see, my finger comes right down here into those honeycomb deal right there that honeycomb cut out and they're fairly big compared to some of the other holy mice that we've tested holy mice that just sounds weird so as far as that point right there you can take that as personal preference because your grip style is probably not going to be the same as mine your hands probably aren't going to be the same as mine but keep that in mind that again me i got medium to larger hands and i like getting a claw or a palm right there of course this mouse is quite hard to palm so i don't really think this is going to be a palm a mouse depending on again the size of your hands you got smaller hands you'll be able to get a nice palm on this but no matter how i grip it my pinky tends to go into that hole right there and again it's just incredibly annoying for me. The Cooler Master MM711 here, what do I think? Number one, much, much, much improved over the 710. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, hey, again, like you got an alpha copy, go buy a 710, all of it's fixed, it's all the exact same as this. Me personally, again, me spending my own money, no one's sending me this stuff, I don't have 50 bucks if you go off and buy a product until I get a good copy. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't know if you do, but anyways, that's why, again, why I'm making these videos, because I don't think you should have to go through that trouble right here. So hey, let me know what you think about the MM711 here. Are you looking at picking it up? Let me tell you what, again, going with this glossy white with the black accents, you all know me. I'm gonna get that red RGB in the background, and this thing is gonna look like an absolute beaut right here. It's gonna be absolutely gorge. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth here. It's an absolute bargain at 60 bucks. The sidewall flex, ah, that's the one thing that really needs some fixing right here, you know what I mean? but it's not deal breaking, it's not that bad. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by watching my quick review or rundown of the MM711 right here. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.